What is up YouTube and welcome to this Rick and Morty Season 5 Episode 6 Breakdown. While this week's episode could have been a really, really fun National Treasure style romp, the episode subverted expectations in the first few minutes with Morty accidentally destroying the secret treasure map on the Constitution. Of course, National Treasure featured the Declaration of Independence having a clue to find Templar gold, but here it's more of a beef between the President and Rick. Now, I kind of like this episode. I didn't really love it, but some of the dialogue was really, really funny. But the concepts of the episodes this season haven't really hit home with me. Now, while the assassin hidden in the Statue of Liberty was presumed to be the main part of the episode, we focus on Thanksgiving, America's birthday, hey, or whatever it's about. The president is more focused on stopping arbitrary terrorists in his eyes than solving the actual problem in America of a rampant robot assassin. Funny how that could be a metaphor for almost all of America's problems while their military go around the world being hilariously overfunded while not having universal health care and deep, deep poverty in certain parts of the country. Rick even says the word terrorist has no meaning as he's called it by the president as it's just used to refer to anyone you dislike these days as the house is surrounded in a shimmering bubble. Although hilariously he plans to be pardoned by turning into a turkey that the president pardons every Thanksgiving. Turkeys were a common gift to send to the White House because, hey, they haven't got enough spoils. And eventually JFK would pardon the turkey instead of sending it just over to a farm, leading to this tradition. It's funny as Rick has an elaborate scheme to go ahead and turn into a turkey, but the president also has his own scheme to counter that scheme, leading both Summer and the Veep to say that they should just fuck already. It's just a dick measuring contest, and to be honest, I'm not usually a fan of the government episodes, as I find them really weak, and criticising politics and the government is such low-hanging fruit, and I really do think that this dynamic has been done to death in the show thus far. The president plans to turn marines into turkeys so they can look with turkey eyes to find the Rick turkey. I found the trope of poor marines from traditional towns in movies really, really funny, as one marine is called in to fight, but he's poor, so is his pregnant spouse, and they'll also raise a poor person. But he fights for the idea of people in and around his town to carry on their way of life. I guess it would be a reference to all those movies where these usual kind of down-to-earth marines are sent off to fight there. And the country song was the highlight of the episode. However, they are turned into turkeys and given a tracking ship, which will be important later. They're sent to protect real turkeys as Rick lands on the truck and takes the identities. And I found it funny that they were just normal turkeys with sunglasses and a radio. And the president then takes his matters into his own hand and turns into a turkey. I did laugh when he was sent in a David Blaine box to prove that Rick's robot decoy was a robot as Rick could escape from it. And I, I really don't know why David Blaine was in that box. And what is he doing now? He was like everywhere in the mid 2000s. Now, all hell breaks loose as the turkeys eat blueberries and one marine loses it as he can see too wide. And I found it funny when the turkey who gets the president's tracking ship turns into a human turkey hybrid, reminding me of the fly and even does the pose of Jeff Goldblum from the movie. However, they are not selected to be pardoned and are sent to be fed to a spider, Franklin D. Roosevelt. The polio vaccine was tested on him and he turned into a spider for reasons, but there were some great lines with the president fighting him saying, I am sick of everyone saying how iconic he is and try having your old timey government in the internet age. He's killed and Rick says stop mythologizing him, which because he is a politician, which hey, we all hate politicians. We also get a good chuckle when the Turkey president says he's selling New York to France, which gets a boo, but he's then cheered when he says he's going to give the money to Congress, just showing how fickle and corrupt the government really is. Not just Americans' this government, but the UK Parliament too, as well, who are giving the most corrupt governments a run for their money these days. Due to this, the VP accepts the clear hybrid as the president leading them to be attacked, and the president 
uses a code which is Mary Todd Lincoln, of course, the wife of Abraham Lincoln, while the Turkey president turns turkeys into super soldiers. However, they do get their turkey dinner as Beth forces Rick and the president to chill out. And I found it funny how the president of America was like, sorry, <laughs> like a little child, as they eat dinner and watch a Charlie Kaufman reboot of The Wizard of Oz. He's a writer of insane movies like Being John Malkovich and the Adaptation. And there's a reference to just how batshit insane his movies are as the Scarecrow is writing the movie while the movie is happening. A usual trope of his movies, which, hey, I, I don't get them. Uh, I just, I don't like them. They're just weird for weird's sake. However, the president plans to turn all turkeys in DC into super hybrids. And Summer, as the edgelord, finds it ironic there's a genocide on Thanksgiving. However, yes, shortly after the twee story of Thanksgiving, the people who colonised the area would then go on to murder many indigenous people. I'm not taking sides here, just look it up. It, it did happen, I'm just stating the facts. The president recruits the marines by giving them a speech which is parodying the usual inspirational speeches in movies, essentially. He just says, will you do what I say? I like the Rick Atta, or is it AT80, as the young folk call it. And we have a fight, and I loved how Timothy Oliphant voice the young marine i didn't realize it until this bit here however the turkeys are distracted as they head down into the secret crypt of the new world similar to the one in national treasure but here is the real story of thanksgiving now in this story turkeys ruled america until aliens landed and took them out the aliens are made to look like Puritans and Native Americans, of course, the original idea of Thanksgiving, and were at war until they decided they hate turkeys more, clearly referencing the idea of Thanksgiving and America's obsession with turkey. They make cornfields appear and take out each of the turkeys. Maybe that's a reference to aliens and their obsession with cornfield crop circles. However, the president comes face to face leading Rick and Morty to take out the device on the Washington Monument that will turn every turkey into humans. And I did like that Rick scoffed at the spaceship having sound and, and audio kind of instructions despite it being in space. Now, one line that really made me chuckle was how Morty was trying to defuse the bomb and saying it's not quite primary colors, referencing the book of the same name and the movie that was an adaptation of that about a presidential campaign. Now, Rick and Morty fight and they risk another pardon here. They risk losing their pardon, which they just got, but Morty destroys yet another monument. I loved how she said monument destroyed. Meanwhile, the two presidents fight and the real one wins, but the other pulls an explosive wishbone as a president's life flashes before him, marked with each PlayStation release. And I really, really found it funny how the PlayStation 5 was just referenced when he says that I want one, be referencing the scarcity of them. The aliens gave the Americans the tech to rule over the world, which that explains a lot. As the post-credit hits and the Marine gets PTSD after saying that they can't afford any of the cereal, despite the president saying he owes him one and as he's there with his ptsd the public say they're not paying for his health care it's all i love our troops until they require severe therapy and medical aid when they come back which is a bit hypocritical and i know you're gonna say keep politics out of these videos but that's what the episode was about i'm breaking down the episode that was literally all about politics now I did say I don't like these government episodes because, again, they are just low-hanging fruit. And I would much prefer the crazy, wacky episodes like the devil having a second-hand shop that has everything cursed. I miss those kinds of episodes. I really, really miss just the wild, wacky ones like Tales from the Citadel. And I think that this season has just had a season of moments where things happen, and that is that. X leads to Y, leads to Z, which is very, very boring when you have an episode and a show like Rick and Morty, which subverts expectations. And it's subverted expectations thus far by being a pretty terrible season. I wanted to like it. I liked the Planetine episode just because it was well written. And I did also like the Nista Nimbus episode, but the sperm and everything else is just a 
bit weak in my eyes. But that is it for this video. Please drop a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe with notifications on to never miss a video. And I'll see you soon and goodbye.